What's up, everybody? It's your boy Charm Sitting over here in back morning. You can see the doors. In our last episode, we took on the reverse duel of Joey and Rex. Now it's time for one of my personal favorite duels of the Duel's Kingdom Mark, Evil Spirit of the Ring, where Yugi takes on the Evil Spirit of the Ring, Hemi Bakora, in a shadow game. And here we go. Just for a little fun. I need to have a duel with no strings attached. The ring. Oh boy. Yes, and the magic of my Millennium Ring will take us to the Shadow Realm. Why are you doing this, Vakora? You have something I want, and I aim to take it. No, it can't be! Oh boy. <laughs> Anyways, we're playing with Yugi's deck from this match. So, this ought to be interesting. <clears throat> Believe me, I wish that they actually used more of the dialogue from the actual match in here, but whatever. Anyways, looks like he gets to go first. Nope, let me go first. We'll get the action started in just a moment. Okay, here we go. So far I have a lousy hand. I've got Kan Jin Jin Kan Jin Jin, whatever that is. Pot of Greed, Dark Hole, Dark Magician, and Claw Reacher. Alright, so all I can do is use Pot of Greed to draw two more cards. And I literally have nothing I can play right now. So what I'll do is just set Misaki Legendary Swords in here in defense mode and end my turn. Alright, Bakora, let's see what you got. Lady of Fate, huh? Same monster you used to try to win their match. That <laughs> two monster reborns. Only in Duel's Kingdom will you see a deck with two monster reborns in it. If anyone saw this in a the TCG, they'd be like, Okay, that's gotta be illegal. Two monster reborns? Really? Okay. Uh, I'll just have my turn right there, because I have nothing else I can do. Nothing I can play, because it would just get a literally run Lady of Faith. In a heartbeat. Discards two main readers and deck versus Lady of Faith. Summon the Earl of Mines. That's not good for me, because Mizaki's crushed. Alright, my move. And I draw. Perfect, I do Graceful Charity, which will allow me to discard Dark Condition into the graveyard, only to immediately resurrect. THREE MONSTER REBORNS?! WHAT KIND OF CRAZY DECK IS THIS?! THREE MONSTER REBORNS?! ARE YOU SERIOUS?! Alright, I know what to do. I'll discard one of the weak monsters in my hand and use one of the two monster reborns to resurrect Dark Magician. And then use another one to resurrect Pecora's Earl of Demise. <laughs> I am so devious. Arise, Earl of Demise from Pecora's graveyard. And now, I'll use a second monster born to revive my Dark Magician. And just like that, I have two monsters with 4,500 attack power in my hand. Well, on my field, rather. Alright, Earl Demise, attack your former Dark Master directly. And now, Dark Magician, Dark Magic Attack! Hmm. Take that. You creepy son of a bitch! <laughs> Alright, playing a monster in defense mode, fine with me. I'll play one card face down on the field. And then, I'll have Dark Magician attack and destroy your face down monster. Ah, Morphin Guard. So I'll have to discard my hand, which includes that, which includes that monster born in my hand. That's okay. Because. Earl of the Nice can get another direct attack in. So much for your morphing, Gary Bakora. Alright. Well, actually, no. I'll, I'll let him survive a turn. Man, this deck, if it wasn't your Dark Magician and the fact that I have three monster mortars, this deck would actually absolutely completely suck. I'm telling you, this deck would completely suck if I didn't have monster one on the left. Okay, two, three face towns. 
Three phantom sounds and a monster in defense mode. Oh, coffin tower. Alright. I'll play Graceful Charity. Draw three cards. Discard two. I'll discard this and this. Do a coffin tower, I'll lose six hundred life points. Well, three hundred life points. And now I have Polymer Edition that summons go and Dark Magician in my hand. Alright, Earl of Demise. Attack and destroy the face down monster now. Ah, shit. Another Morphing Drop. That means I just lose a whole bunch of my cards to the graveyard. Mother Freaker. Ow. That's 300 more damage. Fine. I will play. I'll set Magician of Faith here. And now I'll play Graceful Charity again and draw all three more cards. Okay, this would normally hurt my life points quite a bit, but I can do. I'll discard Dark Magician and Happy Lover. Now there's another three hundred life points that I can do with that. And theoretically, I could have ended this duel a long time ago, but I'm just making this last a bit longer. Just so I can actually, uh oh. Just so I can actually have a decent style thing here. Okay, summoning his own world device. Well, I'll play the Horde of Heaven! So what I'll do is sacrifice my own Earl of Demise to negate the summon of his. I've made these throw more life points, but that's fine with me. Okay, setting a few more cards face down. Fine. I draw. Place another Coffin Tower, and I just drew Tristan's Soul Guard, the Cyber Commander. And we'll be back with more action right after this. Alright, we are back. So let's see if we can finish this off here. Now if I use Soul Charge, I can special summon any amount of monsters in my graveyard, but I take a thousand points of damage for every one summoned. So instead what I'll do is slip Magician of Faith here and get back a magic card from my graveyard. And I pick one of the three monster rewards in my grave. I know I check with three monster rewards. Crazy, right? Now I'll play Monster Reborn and resurrect one of the two Dark Magicians in my graveyard. That gives me a grand total of 2,800 attack power on my field. Aura has 3,500 life points left, so I'll summon Tristan's Cyber Commander in attack mode, giving me the 700 to the left side to finish him off. Now I take 1,500 points of damage, but that's fine, because I can wipe him out right here. So first, Magician of Faith, direct attack! Hold on while that hammer is coming on. Okay, stop. Alright, and now... There it goes again. Dark Magician, direct attack! And now, Cyber Commander, wipe him out! Yeah, 750 monster just wipes out the other Go figure. Alright, so I have This didn't have it. Sheesh. Well, let's uh, buy some cards, shall we? Because that was a rather intense match, although I probably made a lot more intense than it should have been, but whatever. Let's buy some cards. Like a Joey Booster Pack. Ooh. Safra Queen of Dragons. Never seen that before. Buy another set. Mask of Ribbons, I've seen that card. And the Mask Beast and Hungry Burger. Okay, a fiendish burger looking monster? That's kind of funny. I've always found that kind of funny. I know this set. Alright. Alright, so we get. Uh. Release of Strength, Kuna with Chain, a couple of Joey's cards. And. One moment, guys, and I'll close this episode. I just want to check out the time on it. So just one moment while I check things out. So hold tight, guys. Okay, let's buy some cards to get us over that 10-minute mark. I've actually bought some more, but I, I didn't realize I wasn't recording at the time. I was basically talking and I wasn't filming it. Ooh, red eyes, black metal dragon. Nice. Commencement dance, performance of sword. 
Okay. Nothing really special here. Ritual of Destruction. Never seen that before. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's keep buying packs. Mask of the Accursed again. Red Eyes Black Chick. Always oh, a cute little dude. Another hamburger recipe. Little wing guard. Cyber Raider. Sonic Duck. Black Pivotin. Ooh, Panther Warrior. Wanna enjoy signature cards. Spice. A few more. Red Eyes Waver again. Nice. Let's buy a pack of Taurus. Needle bug nest. Right, another set. Ooh, Destiny board cards. Nice. Anyways, that will do it for this episode of Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. In our next episode, what we will do is take on the reverse duel of Evil Spirit of the Ring. Then we'll take on Panic Attack. And then the following episode after that, we'll take on the reverse of it. Then we'll take on Arena of Lost Souls. That is the plan for our next two episodes of Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. But till next time, it's your boy Charm City. We're hunting up. Remember, if you like to do, do a like, comment, and subscribe to me on the channel. Thank you all for stopping by, and until next time, keep it charming, everybody.